Okay, first thing we're going to take is the next extruder, which is this. We're going to loosen these two screws with this T10 screwdriver. I've loosened this one, and through the hole in the frame, loosen the second one. Be sure the screws kind of drop down. Then, have this three-piece cable with the connector facing upward, and we're going to hook. We're going to hook this large opening through the screw, pull it, pull it backward, and tighten the two screws. That'll hold it in place. So here we go, just like that, and we'll tighten the screws with the T10 screwdriver. Now that's secured. That cable basically just keeps everything in position, takes the tension off this PTEF tube and the, and the connector. So the next step is to take the cable, and it's a really tight fit, and it's going to fit right in here. There's only one way it goes, with the thicker side facing the opening here. Carefully put it in there. These are 3D printed parts. There it is, snaps in. And now the PTEF tubing can fit just as a push fitting. There it goes, push it all the way in. There, the cable's connected. Now we have the cable assembly connected to the next extruder. The strong cable, PTEF tubing, and the connector. That's ready to go. Now we're ready to put this on the printer. So next step, lower the heat bed all the way down by turning these rod, rods at the same time. Put an empty Prusa box kind of in the center to protect it. And now we're going to take the XY axis, move it all the way forward, and put it in the center. So literally, just bring it forward. And put it in the center. So now it's ready to receive the next extruder. The next step is to prepare the next extruder by removing these four screws with, again, with a T10. And we'll put them aside and save them. So we'll take all four of these out. Okay, so we've removed all four screws. Carefully take the next extruder and position it in this orientation with the cables up and it will fit just like this on this and use two of the screws you just removed to loosely attach this. And we'll tighten those snugly, not tight. We go. So now our next extruder is in place. Now take the last two screws and put them as well, not too tight yet because we're going to tighten these in a diagonal fashion. So we're going to tighten the top left, bottom right, top right, bottom left. Now your next extruder is on. Now take the X carrier cover. This is a 3D printed part. It should just... Okay, I pressed it in. It took some considerable force, but it looks really nice. I basically lined up the top, got it in, and then pushed it in because you can basically push it together holding your fingers on the next extruder in the back so you're not moving the carriage. Now we'll take and guide the cable to the back of the printer and we're going to work on it there. Okay, locate the long metal profile, the TCH mounting insert, which is this. Now you can move it left and right, be sure it's all the way to the left. The next step is we're going to use a 2.5 millimeter hex. We're going to go through the largest hole in the back of the dock here to drive this screw into the third opening here. So line it up, one, two, three, this is the third. Okay, so go to the third hole, 
get the screw of the XL dock cable router, line it up with that opening, and then you'll have to go through the back of this cover to that screw and this Allen wrench 2.5 millimeter it will work okay I've got the 2.5 millimeter hex going through the back of the frame into that screw. It's a friction tight and it's got to be really tight. So I'm tightening it strongly. Here, tightening it very strongly there because it's a friction fit. The next step is to prepare the filament sensor. This is the filament sensor. This is an M3 ENS nut. We put some of those in before. 3 millimeter screw, 12 millimeters long, and it's a T10. These three pieces are going to go into the back of the left side. So this is the left rear part of the printer with this small cable. This is where we're going to put the filament sensor. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to insert that nut. There it is. We're going to connect the cable. There it goes. And then we're going to insert the screw through this opening. Line it up. that nut tighten it up before I tighten this I moved it up so that this is nice and flush and we'll tighten it then we'll take the PTFE tube put it into the top hole now to connect the cable from the extruder, we're going to take this little cover off here by loosening these two screws. And we're going to loosen these four screws and take off this cover. Now we're going to put the extruder connector into the top connection here. This is known as the first dock. And again, line it up properly. There it goes. Next we're going to put the spool holder on. You've got the spool holder slider the base, this is the mount, here's the nut, the M585 nut, there's a special bolt and a 4 millimeter Allen key. The nut goes in like the other ones we've put in, just like that. This part fits in like this and this pushes all the way through, sometimes it's a little hard to push it. Bolt goes through into the base. screw goes into the nut and again this it needs to be oriented in one way there's a little extrusion a little thickened area that fits in the slot and there we've got it and this can this can go up anywhere and then it opens and closes based on the width of the spool we're using again loosen this up just a little bit it can go up or down based on on your preference so my printer has one little glitch the end of the Wi-Fi antenna does not fit into the antenna holder. So I did a conversation with Prusa. They sent me a file. So the first thing I'm going to print on my printer is a new part for this so that this will fit. But there is a way to jury rig it so it will work by putting it through here, the back of this plate. So we'll put the 
lock washer and the nut and so there we go on that and we'll just tighten those up so I use this stamped wrench to just tighten this nut just a little bit right here I could have just kept it like this but I wanted it to be nice so you know there's that there's the antenna we're ready I just take a look down here I just put the plug in we're gonna turn this around we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna go through the setup so congratulations you've completed the assembly of the Prusa XL it was a really wonderful project to do now the next step, which will be in the next vid video, is the setup, and we're going to start printing. Consider subscribing. If this was helpful, please click thumbs like. Thank you.